We're eating. It's green. It's, it's Easter. We're eating while we're doing this function. We're eating like a bunny. We're eating our vegetables. <laughs> yeah, I know. But um, this is old Kim. And this is not a spring chick, and we're going to be talking about one of our favorite holidays, which is Easter. It's one of those things that, well, what I mean, I love Easter because it's like a time of birth, and it always seems like it's new beginnings. I mean, New Year's is like new beginnings because it's the start of the new year, but Easter brings in springtime. Well, actually, this is a new beginning because look, that wall, yeah. we're doing basically, we've got, we're shooting in 3D. Now we've got a wall mm -hmm. that is like five foot behind us and another 15 foot that direction. Mm. We're working with for 3D work. So, but but uh, also it's springtime color, so you bring out like this, my, my nails, the specialty colors, right? Yeah. All the pastels. Help celebrate we're actually Easter. sitting on top of a, of a podium. We have never had a podium before. We do now, <laughs> which is actually bigger. Remember, we've been doing these things for like six years in the kitchen. Yeah. This is the, now we're in the studio. Yeah. Which is actually warmer than the kitchen at the moment. But, yeah. um, but we're going to talk about the Judeo-Christian origins of Easter, which basically is, I mean, first of all, folks, Fred Astaire singing, Here Comes Peter Cottontail, never actually happened. It's not real. It's what? a cartoon. So no, wait, wait, wait. What well, wasn't real that he sang it or was no, it real that there was No, it's not a... real. It is a cartoon. So when you're, contra when you're demanding that you stop running these things, worshiping, a, you know, a Christian religion, it's a cartoon. Well, I mean, first of all, it's like Easter actually started. I mean, it was, like you said, a pagan religion. It's it all started pagan. with. Springtime, right? Yeah, um, I, I love this. But it, it, you know, like it, it, the part of the of the Christian stuff, which is most people don't realize. Does anybody realize, other than the people that wrote this thing that I'm using, that Jesus Christ was not called Jesus Christ? Wasn't he was he? Yesh 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 Yeshua of Nazareth. Yeshua of Nazareth. He was not Jesus Christ. That's the name that was given to him after the fact, folks. Ah. When they were saying Christ did that, Christ did that, it was not Christ. That name happens. It's a historical thing that people gave him. Yeah. Uh, basically, it, um, good footage deserved in remembrance of Jesus' execution by the occupying Roman army and his burial in a cave tomb. Yes, Good Friday does not mean it's a Good Friday because it's the last day of the work week yeah. for many people. I know. <laughs> that's why it was called Good Friday. Today, <laughs> nowadays, it would be Good Thursday because that's when they quit working. <laughs> so try getting a press release out on Friday in this business. It uh -uh, forget it. Yeah, actually, Friday, Monday's not a good day either. Tuesday and Wednesday are the only days of the week that this business works. But because uh, uh, they're all checking their emails on Monday. Yeah, Easter Sunday is the date when a group of female followers first noticed the empty tomb and concluded that he had either been resurrected or his body had been stolen. And the popular, the popular thing on the History channels and the, all the things is that his body was stolen. Well, you know, and part of it is I was raised Catholic, so you know, on the, on the Friday or Good Friday, was he passed away on Sunday, which is Easter Sunday, it's yeah. the day of new beginnings. Yeah. They could not find his body. Here's the cute thing and if you're paying attention to it though. I know, it's like the time of new beginnings, you couldn't find his body. Well, yeah. the timing though of the Christian celebration is Easter it happened to be linked to the celebration of Passover. I know, did you ever know? That's kind of a unique. And you have a great big feast. Okay, you tend to find most of these things are, um, are, are, are have to do with uh, Bar, you know, back in the days of barbarism, and they basically celebrated anything. So, that this it just give them another excuse to celebrate. Well, you know, I mean, the pagan religions, but they celebrated the harvest. They celebrated springtime, right? They yeah. celebrate. These are the celebrations, just like we do many times. We celebrate when people get married. We celebrate, right? Yeah. Right. And it's a time to eat and be merry. Oh God, yeah. Basically, it's Passover tra traced to the ancient pre-Israeli pagan. Ritual practice by wandering somatic shepherds. The feast of unleavened bread was originally a traditional Canadic agricultural harvest, which was adopted by the Israelis. It marked the start of the barley harvest. Barley was the first crop to ripen. I'm going to tell you something very special about barley. They make alcohol with barley. Well, wait a minute. So Passover, when I think of Moses and watching the Ten Commandments, yeah. is when they passed over their homes for the firstborn. Right, mm -hmm. but it has to do though with the that uh, basically uh, was derived from the actions of the angel of death described in the book of Exodus. The problem was, 
It also has to do when ritual animals were sacrificed at the, at the beginning of the new year. Mm. Ritual and, 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 the uh, and, and right. guess what the whole bit, here's the thing which they don't tend to, I actually picked this up the other night on television, one of the things. The first, it also included the firstborn of every animal. And, you know, and, and who, okay, who got sacrificed and ate in almost every, in every household? What? The firstborn animal, well, not because, the ones further down the line. Because the firstborn is usually more mature, older, and yeah. Alive. And they, they said you have to listen carefully. It said the firstborn. Mm -hmm. That's why the Israelis sort of went into the place and hid because the firstborn they didn't distinguish. And, and it, it, now we, I thought for the Moses it was the firstborn son. Mm -hmm. It never says firstborn. It says firstborn if you pay Period. really attention to it. And for all of you people that want to do history. Uh, Ramesses the first. Ramses. 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 It was still Ramesses the first. Uh, happened to have been uh, too old to be leading the army after Moses. Ram this is the the old guy in the movie with Charlton Heston, that played by Sir Cedric Hardwick. Mm -hmm. That is Ramesses the first. The guy that followed after. The guy that basically chased was not the guy of the biblical book. That was a son, not first. First was king. First was uh, first. It ruled Egypt until he was 90, 95 years old, I think. So mm. a lot of historical inaccuracies, folks. That big city they show Moses building. He did build it, but he built it for, you know. And then you know, him got that battle between Moses and his son. Well, no, that didn't happen. It didn't. No. So, you mean it's not like it's all in the movies? No, it's not like it's in the movie. He also said that the, the firstborn, they think, did not die from. Um, from you know, from God striking him down, he died. The angel of death. The uh, they they say he looks like he died in battle sometime because he got a skull injury, uh. and he was like thirty or forty years old. Mm. So that, that's a good one. So we're trying to correct things though. Um, let's see, be, uh, what, what? Okay, when was um, Joshua or Jesus, as he is now called, executed? Or Jesus, as they Jesus. call to him in, in, in Mexico. Jesus, Jesus. Um, mm -hmm. Passover was the most important day of the Jewish calendar. Um, celebrated the first full moon after the vernal equinox. And the equinox typically occurs on March 20th, 21st, or 22nd. Well, that's just like a full moon, according to our present calendar. Yeah. The gospel differs on the date of Jesus' execution. Yeah, it would, okay, let's put it this way. The date changes. We know pagan celebrations. We've been doing this for five, six years. An awful they lot changed. of things are around oh. pagan celebrations. The, you know, the other part is, is we're using a different calendar than they used before. I mean, their calendar they used had to do with, what, the sun. The, no, they're, they're using, actually, they're using the same calendar we use mm -hmm. today, which oh, is... Oh, is the, it? I thought it was totally different. No, the uh, court of Hammurabi and the, the mm -hmm. Babylonian, the guy just set the original calendar. Basically, what happens is... We have tightened the calendar up, but the calendar basically is the same as it was 4,000 years ago. Um. Because, it, okay, you want to know something the Muslims gave us? The Muslims gave us algebra, trigonometry, geometry. They did? They gave us astronomy, and they gave us the calendar that we use, and the wow. judicial system Which we use. Which has been around a long, a long time. Everything that we have today in modern civilization came from the people that basically were barbarians. Because once they were not barbarians, they were the geniuses of the universe, folks. Did they, and they became barbarians after that? Yeah. The, oh, they, they basically developed in the Civil War, like the Romans and all. Remember the Greek? Oh, Roman? when the, the... They all fell. All the empires fell. Yeah. So anyway, the Synoptic Gospels, which is Mark, Matthew, and Luke, state that Jesus' Last Supper was a Seder, or a Passover celebration at the start of the 15th Nisan, which is just after sundown. Actually, they just celebrated that. I was asked... Actually, it was a pre-Passover event. Yeah, but okay. the, the Gospel of John states that the Last Supper at the beginning of the 14th Nisan, Jesus is recorded as having died on the afternoon of the 14th. We, we do not have a general consensus other than the fact that... Well, I don't even know, understand exactly what a Nisan is. Yeah. And we're not talking about a car, <laughs> Nisan. No. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a time of the month. It's ah. a day of the memory that we're talking. Um, uh, you know, days, months, and stuff like that. That's mm -hmm. because they're, I don't actually speak Hebrew, although my, we all got a lot of Jews in my family, folks. I mean, mm -hmm. we do celebrate all these great Jewish holidays because you really eat well. Mm -hmm. But um, most, the, most theologians reject John's timing. They assume that John chose a date for symbolic reasons. 
he made Jesus execution synchronized with the sacrifice of the lamb at the temple in Jerusalem. If uh, Jesus was murdered on a Friday, then Passover would have been fallen on a Thursday. That happened. Uh, that happened both in the years 30 and 33 CE. Here's the problem, though, is that nobody actually knows the date. Mm -hmm. They don't. There's no real date or time and year. It's yeah, all. Yeah, you know how like the days all merge into one into another. Yeah, and they don't because there was no really. Uh, okay, what happened was is the uh, gospels of all these people were written after they were dead. Mm. So oh, they the, were all of them. Almost all of them were written after the fact, but they were written from people that were that lived at the same time as these people. Which means it's really easy to be off a day or two. Yeah, week, well, because of, a, a month. For instance, when uh, you know when was it? I think it's Pope John the first is John the was this one. He said when he uh, as he got older, he he started confusing years and stuff. So if he told people days and years, it was a confusion of age. He could have been off by years on something. I, I could be off years too when I, when I go and, back uh, on something. That's because we found out she has low blood sugar her neck because she'd be off a bit. <laughs> okay, but they said many theologians accept the execution date of Friday the 30th, April 7th uh, uh, as correct. However, this date does not produce, this date also caused some problems with the timing of the ministry first. He wasn't there at that time. So <laughs> he wasn't the minister at that time. That's sort of a big problem sort of a major problem. He wouldn't have been executed for preaching then if he wasn't a minister and preaching. Mm -hmm. So that's just a minor, it's not a big problem. But, um, the, but basically we're going to go to so Isaac Newton. Computed the likely dates was, uh, was uh, April 7th, uh, 33, uh, 8, 33 April 7th or 34 April the 23rd. That's a year difference, folks. The, they're all trying to figure it out. Nobody knows. And, but he preferred the latter because the AD 34 uh, choice has few, has few supporters. They conflicts uh, for the latter of Paul's. It required the Passovers that occurred during Jesus' ministry, and depends upon a ref. Well, yeah, if it, it it would have had to have done under the guy's ministry. If he wasn't a ministry, why did they execute him? Mm -hmm. I mean, that's sort of yeah, so so actually, they're going back in history and comparing all these books that were all written after these guys many years later, right? Yeah, they died. They so. said that uh, uh, theoretically, none of them was written during the time of the life of the individual. They were all collections of things. So that were basically, done these are like collections of stories by family members and friends yeah. that put it together. Our disciples that were or working the, yeah. with them, that they were the ones that basically, in the latter years of the life of the individual collected notes of what they were saying and then later when they got old and their memories were not as good wrote what they had written about ages before and that also has a problem with it if you watch the if you actually should watch like the history channel discovery channel public broadcasting you'll need to learn all kinds of things like there's inaccuracies in people's notes because things were destroyed over the years that they were working from because the romans really didn't like the jews and the christians so and they were actually, they really weren't Jews to begin with. They were Christians. The Jewish bit came later. Mm. So, but we, here we got, we were either uh, 30 AD, uh, or 30 B, 30, what is it, 30, April 30th. 30, no. It's either no. the 5th, 6th, the 26th, or the 10th, depending yeah. on when you want to do it. Depend in different years. So. And then, and then we go, we have liberal Christians who suggest that the actual date of Jewish execution is unknown. Those are the people that are doing the, doing the things and the things, you know, the scholars, saying that they don't know. There is no record. Yeah, they said it could have happened at any time during the year, and that the early Christian churches arbitrarily selected Passover at the time. Although every time they portray it, the people aren't wearing a lot of clothes, so it's... It's, it's, pagan, more... it's pagan time. You can actually know it's in the springtime, and it's a pagan celebration. So, and you... I mean, some of the things you tell by what they're wearing. Okay, but here you go. It was a, you know, it was a springtime pagan celebration. It had to have been during the time of his being a, a minister, not before. So by the time you figure all those things out... You basically then put it back to Isaac Newton's time, which is 34, after he was a minister. So this allowed um, the, to link the most important religious days in Judaism and Christianity. It also allowed the human sacrifice of Jesus, the human sacrifice yeah. of Christ our Paschal Lamb, to be linked to the sacrifice of the Paschal Lamb in the Jewish temple. Yeah, the fact that uh, theolo other theologians suggest that uh, Yeshua of Nazareth never existed, that had he had lived centuries earlier, 
or that he was never crucified. The Romans crucified everybody. I mean, if you were, they crucify you if you, if you, you know, spit on the street, they crucify you. That was their way of doing things because they, you know, they make an example of you. They make example. I mean, they made example of an entire army actually. Oh, they did. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's where do you think that Dracula got his idea of impelling people on sticks? He on, oh. he got it from the Roman army. The Roman army used to do this with with Jews too. They basically put them. You know, stick a pole up their butt and then let the pole, let them, their weight sink them down and kill them that way. It was really agonizing. That sounds really painful. I know. We got the Christian liturgical calendar, which is a good one right there. Uh, basically, until the 4th century uh, CE, Easter and the Pentecost were the only two holy days that the Christians observed. Easter Sunday was the main day of celebration formally recognized by the Council of Nice in, in uh, 325. Uh, Pentecost Sunday was also observed as less important than a holy day. Seven days for a uh, week, holy day seven weeks, 49 days after Easter. Basically, it came after the fact. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Ash Wednesday, this is held on the first day of Atlanta Wednesday, Holy Week, the week before Easter Sunday. Palm Sunday, held the Sunday before the, before, before, the uh, Easter, Easter Sunday. Sunday, the Holy Monday commemorates the Jesus cleansing of the temples. See, here's a quick one, folks. We're going to give you another another thing of history. He could not have cleansed the temple if he was killed before he was a minister. So therefore, if he did the temple cleansing, he had to be executed in 34, not before he was a minister. Just minor details. So, Thank okay. you. Holy, Holy Tuesday, Jesus description of disciples on the Mount of Olives. Holy Wednesday, once called Spy Sunday. Spy Even, Wednesday. I've never heard it called Spy Wednesday. Yeah. That was when Judas it, just, turned on him. Yeah, the decision to betray Jesus, 30 pieces of silver, which he really got shafted because silver wasn't worth as much as gold, so he took it. He really got the low end of the home pole. <laughs> Now he actually, they say that he also had his own, uh, had the book of Judas basically, which doesn't exactly jive with all of these other books because it said that he, he wasn't doing anything that the others were doing, weren't doing, he just got paid for doing it. Uh, oh, the word, interesting. Yeah, in the words of a movie I was in, I always like this, I was there when they said it, in a dirty dozen, Lee Marvin did Charles Bronson, when Charles, I didn't do anything wrong, and then what Lee Marvin said, yes, but you got caught not doing it. Mm -hmm. That's the whole thing. That's what the book of Judah says is that I did nothing the others weren't doing. Except